Look out for me. Oh, muddy water. Your mysteries are deep and wide. And I got to me. I'm going someplace. And I got to me. Climb up on your back and ride. You can look for me. But when you see me coming, I may be wrong. And I don't know. Well, I may be tired. But I'll be heading south to the mouth of the Ohio So look out for me Oh, muddy water Your mysteries With the deep and wide I got a need I'll go in some place And I got a need to climb up on your back and ride from the decks of the Mississippi Queen, the largest steamboat in America, TNN presents The Roger Miller Show with special guests Tanya Tucker, Lyle Lovett, Libby Hurley, and Williams and Reed, recorded live on the Tennessee River. Look out for me, oh, muddy water, your mysteries are deep and wide. Hi there, I'm Roger Miller. Welcome aboard the Mississippi Queen. We're just downstream from Chattanooga on the Tennessee River. And I've invited some friends aboard to help celebrate the Queen's first trip up to Tennessee. We'll spend our time here with beautiful scenery, some great music, probably a few laughs along the way. Right now, we're going to take a short break. Actually, it's going to take us quite a while to walk through Wilson Dam. But through the magic of video, next time you see us, we're going to be 98 feet higher up on the Tennessee River. So, but for you, it's going to take a minute. So stick with us. Don't go away. Don't cut your foot. Maybe have a seat here. All right. Looks like my chair's fixing. Woo! Oh. This could be the life, couldn't it? This certainly yeah. is. I mean, life on the river, just <laughs> lapping in the breeze, living in the lap of luxury. Oh. You know, I was laying out on my porch this morning. Uh. I just reached out and got me a fish and had breakfast. Isn't it great? Oh, How convenient things are. Huckleberry, but... Huckleberry had the right idea. That's for sure. Lyle, you got a song? I'd like to hear you sing. I'll sing one. Somebody have my guitar? You got something you wrote yourself? This, this is one. Yeah. Right. She hates my mama. She hates my daddy too. She loves to tell me she hates the things I do. She loves to lie beside me almost every night. She's no lady, she's my wife. The preacher asked her, and she said, I do. The preacher asked me. She said, yes, he does too. Preacher said, I pronounce you 99 to life. Son, she's no lady, she's your wife. I can't remember how I met her. Seems like she's always just been hanging here all my ride. Who pays her price? Man, she's 
Yeah, but what happens Roger, when Roger, Ken Fong is Chin Ho and... Roger, how are you? How are you doing? Fine. How are you? Roger, it's, Roger, it's a pleasure being here on this boat with you. Yeah. You know, what? Well, you're, you're a famous songwriter. Everyone knows that. We've written some songs ourselves. Well, we, we don't want to... Did you want to get a drink or something? Pour some on you, but... Have uh, you noticed how this place goes through bartenders quicker and Jay Lewis does wives? <laughs> yes. Has this ever happened to you? Like, you're out on a date, you're having a good time, all of a sudden there's a little friction and you're beaten and left for dead at the side of the road? Yes. Last Wednesday that happened to me. There was a girl from Shamrock, Texas. Uh, Came up to me. Oh, that's another so story. So we've written some songs. Yeah, we've written and, some songs. Uh, Here's one that he wrote. This one I wrote. And John Denver stole it, stole that melody from us, and was like, Well, life on the res is kind of laid back. We buy a bunch of wine, put it in a paper sack. Drink it right down, then we barf till dawn. Yes, I live on the reservation. But he changed the words, and then just stole it. It was a had to move, because it got barfed on. Was that something like this? Yeah, that's I'm how it ended, and he I'm stole so it. Quick. I'm so quick with that kind of stuff. Well, of course, you have to be quick with someone who has written uh, as many tunes as you have. 700, and, 800 songs. And you, was and in you your know bio. what I like about it is I, I noticed all the songs that you wrote and all the fame that you had nobody ever tried to sue you like they do the 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 stars now yeah you know the they hops tried to today. sue him so many times uh, do they do you have that all oh yes I, yeah. I, they're always trying to sue me every time i come up with an original idea they someone, try to sue a sue it happens someone well, you time. can't sue a sue well you can i wish i had something clever to say other than i need a drink <laughs> i need a drink so bad you, you want a drink, drink i just want coca-cola miguel and i want three lemonades miguel, miguel. Well, miguel. oh two come enchiladas for me and miguel <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, I guess you're all taken care of. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Guys, oh. I'd love to hear your songs. I'll hear them later. I got, I got girls. I got friends. You got white women waiting? <laughs> nice guy. The waiter is here. All right. Aha. A lemonade, a lemonade, a lemonade, and a Coca-Cola. Okay. All Thank right. You. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, everybody has sung. <laughs> everybody has sung, but you and me. How about me singing? <laughs> Let's try. Who huh? were those weird guys at the bar? What yeah. weird guys at the bar? I didn't see no weird guys at the bar. Neither <laughs> did I. Chug a lug, chug a lug. Makes you wanna holler, howdy ho. Barnabas, you tell me, don't you know? Chug a look, chug a look. Grape wine in a mason jar. All made and brought to school by a friend of mine in after class. Me and him and this suit food side. We'll drink up what's left. Chug a look, so I help myself. I done a big old sip. I done a double back. Chug a look, chug a look, 4 8 and a FFA. On a field trip to the farm, me and a friend sneak off behind this big old barn where we uncovered, discovered up the moonshine still. Now we thought we'd drank or fill, not swallowed it with a smile. Run 10 miles, chug a look, chug a look. Make you want to holler, howdy ho, burn your tummy, don't you know? 
juggler, juggler, jukebox and sawdust floor. Something like I ain't never seen. Heck, I'm just going on 15. But with the help of my finagling uncle, I get snuck in for my first taste of sin. I said, let me have a big old sip. I done a double backflip. Juggler, juggler. Make you want to holler high. I think he'll listen to the shoulder and kind of pull well, me towards well, him. He's no, just a well, he's bit. no, he, he'll well, listen to the tunes. I think we, we I might don't have think a shot. I think we ought to stick with the moonshine thing. We'll make some money. We'll make some money. He'll take one of our songs. That's all we do. If I happen to say angel, uh -huh. just casually mention angel, that angel. means I got queens or better. Like queens if we say, better. gosh, I, what a beautiful angel oh, day yes, outside. Yes, yes, yeah. seven Spanish angels, oh. all that stuff. Okay, Listen, yeah. But if I happen to say stud, stud, that, that means, means I got kings or better. Kings uh, are better. Stud, and we did a fish in here. Listen. Oh, yes. Wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> Good to see. Listen, listen, we're just about to play some cards. Just we're about to play some dime quarter stuff. Two card low. You'll love it, get it? Wow, you'll love it. Come on, you want to play? You want to play? We start off with like you get a pair of ladies. Well, I got a pair of ladies. Me. I, I think I got a situation you can win. How about coming over and we're singing a song? You sing a song, I'll just listen. That's it. Okay. Well, I think you guys. Uh, we, were, we were just. You know, we don't get any respect. Credibility. Around. Credibility. You know, That's respect. what I'm talking about. No respect. You know what we need is we need jackets. We, we need, need a couple of them jackets. captain jackets. That's the captain. Let's yeah. go over the top shelf. Yeah. Why not? A couple of them captain jackets. Yeah. 
the show's been going good. I, uh, everybody I talked to has loved it. I, excuse me, these guys work for you? No, I thought they came on with you. Not that I know of. I can take care of them later. Why don't you get Lyle and meet me up in the house? Okay. okay, I'll get him See you over here. Watch. You got it. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the king of the road, and now the river, Roger Miller. Thank you very much. Thank you. That about wraps up our show for this evening. We uh, <laughs> thank you all for coming. I'm glad you're here. I know you're, you're a captive audience. You can't get off the boat quite yet. But I know you've been having a good time for at least the last couple of days, and we'll try to put a stop to that. <laughs> this is a song. It was probably the first song that I wrote for Big River. Uh, I was wondering what I was going to write about anyway, so I wrote about a hog. Uh, I used to raise hogs for the FFA, and uh, damn near married one one time. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this song is called How About a Hand for the Hog, and goes almost like this. Well, they tell me, but I can't be sure. Man's best friend is a mangy cur. I kind of favor the hog myself. How about a hand for the hog? You say, a hog ain't nothing but a porky thing. A little porky feet with a nosy ring. Well, pickle them feet, folks. How about a hand for the hog? Well, if you took a notion, I'll bet. Well, a good hog will make a hell of a pet. You could teach him to ride and to hunt. You can clean him up and let him sit up front. Well, a fella and a hog had a comedy act. The fella was terrible, as a matter of fact, but that hog was so funny. How about a hand for the hog? Just laugh it up, it's all right. <laughs> well, I've looked at it and it looks like this. Either you ain't or either you is a true blue lover of the swine folks. Well, how about a hand for the hog? Well, I've seen dogs that'll howl and bark for no better reason than a moonless dark, and the hog won't rattle your sleep like that. Well, how about a hand for the hog? If you took a notion, I bet, you could teach a hog to roll a cigarette. Well, it might take a little bit of time, but hell, what's time to a hog? <laughs> <laughs> well, I once saw a hog with a small tattoo at Red Eye, reckon I do, I do, and he did too, right there in front of me. How about a hand for the hog? <laughs> Thank you. This is the cocoon love boat, you know. <laughs> if you if you just take a notion, you don't have to do this, but these waters around here are so special that I understand that if you jump in these this river at this point. You'll come out 35 years old. <laughs> Tanya, you're not interested, I know. I was uh, telling somebody today that I, I think Alzheimer's disease, if there's a good side to it, is you meet so many new people. <laughs> there was a fellow, okay. There was a fellow who was, uh, a fellow who was an alcoholic for years. And then later, it, it, uh, Alzheimer's took over his body and mind, and for, for years, he drank to forget. Now he forgets to drink. <laughs> well, my wife and I live about four miles out of town in New Mexico. The other day, she said, let's get in the car and go to town. And I jumped in the back seat. I was working. I used to work in the summers for my brother up in Amarillo, Texas. He had a filling station. They call them service stations, I think, anymore, but it's a filling station. A woman come in one day and wanted to know where the restroom was, and I thought she said whisk broom. And I said, well, just back up here and we'll blow it out with a hose. I got this. We're gonna do this song. It was written, I believe, it was recorded by a guy named Jack Scott. 
Uh, a guy named Jack Scott, a singer named Jack Scott. Wasn't this a guy, he didn't just step off a load of cantaloupes and record this song. And his name is the singer, his singer's name is Jack Scott. We'll refer to him as J.S. This is called Burning Bridges Behind Me. Found some letters you wrote me this morning. They told of a love we once knew. Now they're gone. I burned them to ashes. Don't want nothing to remind me of you. Said goodbye to the friends we once knew. And so I moved to a far away city. Down no on nothing to remind me of you. Mm -hmm. By bridges behind. It's too late to turn back now. Burning bridges behind me. True and hard to forget you somehow. All I want is to forget you somehow. Thank you very much. Roger and the Chattanooga Boys Choir. Look out for me, oh, muddy water. Yo, Mr. Eats, are deep and wide. And I got to need, I go in some place. And I got to need to climb up on the old back and ride. Look for me, or when you see me coming, I may be running, I don't know. Well, I may be tired and running fever, but I'll be heading south to the mouth of the Ohio. To the pain and sorrow, I know tomorrow's coming in. So I put my boat to the river bottom, and I got to hide someplace to find myself again. Chattanooga. Chattanooga Boys Choir. Yep. 
Before we begin, let's review our ingredients. Yes, uh, did we do everything right? I think so. Sugar? I, sugar, check. Uh, corn? Corn, check. A uh, mash? Mash, check. A uh, mash? <laughs> I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld this cooling sun. Oh, I think we've done everything right. I think we should have the test. Ooh, the piazzadora de resistance. Mm, I'll try just a... Excellent bouquet. Oh, smells mm. like Decatur, Alabama. No! Oh! Mm. <laughs> What's going on? Captain! Here? <coughs> uh, Captain, good day. <laughs> Just as I thought, your moonshine. No, no sir. sir. No, sir. I this is not... fell through the ceiling. This is not the collapse. Almost no. hit the Indian. This, this is, is not what it looks like, sir. This I can is assure a you. Equipment. No, this sir. Is no, no. Yes, th this, this is, a... is an, Indi an old Indian remedy. Yeah, that's yeah. what I used to call it, too. No, yeah. this is for colds. This cold. is a federal offense. My no. grandfather showed me how to get rid of colds. You this... boys follow me. I've got a cure for you. This is what we. Uh, this is not moonshine, I assure you. We, we, we wouldn't do anything different.